Hello, my name is Leah Bracken. Today I'm going to walk you through embedding a PDF viewer into your Oracle Apex application. This video assumes that you already have an application created and that your PDF file along with its blob attributes are already uploaded into your table. If you would like to learn how to add a blob column to your table, please reference this YouTube video. Or you can find the link in this video's description. Here in my application, I have a faceted search created. I would like to embed my PDF viewer at the bottom of the page. Navigate to the page designer, right click on the table containing the PDF and select create subregion. In our new subregion, give it the title PDF viewer. Under source in the text box, paste in the following. At the top left, click into Dynamic Actions. On Events, right-click to create a new dynamic action. Under Identification, name the dynamic action PDF Viewer. Under When, select the event as Custom. Label the custom event PDF Viewer and select the selection type as JavaScript Expression. Paste in Document under JavaScript Expression. Select Show on the left-hand side. Under Identification, select Execute JavaScript Code as the action. Paste in the following code under Settings. For now, we have a placeholder for our URL. Later in this video, we will replace this when we create a RESTful service. Select OK and return back to your columns. Now we will create a link for our file name column. In our faceted search, when we select the file name of our PDF, we want that PDF to display. Select the file name column and change the type from plain text to link. Under link, click into target. Change the type to URL and paste in the following. Click save at the top right hand side of the page. Now we're going to create our RESTful service. Navigate to the top of the page. Under SQL Workshop, select RESTful Services. If you've not registered the schema with ORDS, register it and keep all the default values. Under Modules, create a new module. Give the module a name, a base path, and click Create. At the bottom right, select Create Template. Give it a URI template and click Create. At the bottom right, select Create Handler. Change the source type to Media Resource. Under Source, select the meme type and the blob of your PDF from the table that it is stored. At the top right, select Create Handler. Copy the full URL of the handler you just created. Navigate back to your page designer and under Dynamic Action. Now we're going to replace that placeholder for our URL. Paste in the URL we just created. Delete the ID component at the end of your URL. Save your application and click Run. Click on one of the file names and scroll to the bottom of the page. Here we can see it worked. We have successfully embedded a PDF viewer into our application. My name is Leah Bracken, and I hope that this has been helpful.